All right, guys, so I was asked to make a feral guide. So I'm going to go through how to play, um, how to gear all my personal keybinds, which is, you know, everybody has their own keybinds. But uh, I'll go through that so you guys can kind of understand. And I'll go through my weak auras and my macros. So on the first part, I'm just going to go through some of my videos that, that I made so I can like comment on how I'm playing. All right, so this is the AOE clone build. So basically what it is, is you wanna go down here to get the increased five yards and clone with wild attunement, which makes your uh, your clones give you free feral frenzies. And I play with Wicked Claws and King of the Jungle as well. So I, I swap between the AOE and single target um, vein build. So on this build, it's it's more single target. You have uh, Moonfire that you can cast in Feral form and no Primal Wrath. And you also take Adapted uh, Swarm. So you, you want to take this build for if like big maps versus like two casters where they're not going to be grouped up. If you, if you feel like it's going to be hard to get value from AoE, just go single target and do manual spreading whenever they're close together and just uh, single target pressure uh, if they're spread up, spread apart. So basically, uh, if you don't know anything about Feral, you just start in stealth and break stun the target. So my my opener is going to be Tiger Fury first and then stun and then Feral Frenzy. Then I'm going to go ahead and rip before I Adaptive Swarm because it's range. So Adaptive Swarm and Moonfire are range ability. Abilities. So you want to be able to get your rip up as soon as possible because they might like kite or like a, a priest might pull or something. Um, so basically it's Tiger Fury, break, Feral Frenzy, rip, and then you can from range apply both your other bleeds. And during this I'm going to also Berserk or Incarn and you just Incarn and you literally just spam Shred Bite. And you don't want to try to clone while you're berserking because it's like it doesn't have value at all. Um, so if you're berserking, you go ahead and just spam shred by shred by shred by. But yeah, you also have the ability to like uh, clone off target and then you get free frenzies. Um, it's pretty nutty actually. And you want to you want to make sure you have. A, all as as many bleeds as you can on the target before you bite so i throw in thrash every once in a while i try to pay attention to blood talons it's it's really not that difficult to get it up in the opener so you go rake frenzy thrash and you have it there you go cloning is like really really good you have to be good at like fake casting um and i'll i'll kind of showcase some gameplay all right so right here in my most recent video, I see the clone start coming off and the sun co started coming off the healer. So I know I want to try to get another clone off and he is a resto shaman. So I know I'm going to have to like do a bunch of things, go through hoops just to get a clone off. So I kind of go in a little bit early. So here I have six seconds left and he grounds it, of course kill that and then uh, here I just juke I just I get the clone after juking so I'll, I'll go ahead and replay that yeah you kind of have to get good at, at juking I'm personally kind of pretty good at it uh, I'm not the best but <clears throat> I'm pretty good because I've been playing a lot of healers and yeah you just have to get good at juking um and make sure you have the omni bar uh interrupt so you can see so for the aoe build basically you start it in stealth and you want to try to get a double stun but um i wouldn't worry too too much about it but i usually wait like a couple seconds to see if they stack up if they do you can get a double stun with the uh double claw drake from stealth so what you do is you just tiger fury double stun frenzy uh and then thrash to get blood talons and and then you can start doing damn and basically when uh after this i berserk right away and just spam 
Shred and Primal Wrath. And eventually I'll I'll get these free bites, which I have a weak war for. And I just bite whenever whenever I can. If the target is like away from the rest of the team, I'll bite more than using Primal Wrath. But yeah, just uh depends on the situation. And you just keep up your bleeds as much as you can. Uh use bite as much as you can. Um pay attention to blood talons and get big rips. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the gear for Feral Druid. Uh, we're, we're only going to get the two set for now, at least. And it's the pants and the shoulders because they have first mastery on it. This one has haste first. And I just crafted the boots of indemnity and also the ring that uh, gives you mastery over 90%. For now, I'm just using the, the bloody token sphere and I'll, I'll upgrade that last for now because that's a... Uh, that's just how it happened for me. But if you can, I would suggest to just pick this up because it's going to have uh, a little bit better stats. All right. So for the rest, it's just mastery, first mastery, and chest piece is going to be haste. And I'm going to stack some more haste on the on the wrists. This will be mastery. Uh, the belt will be it will be haste as well. Um, so for the secondary ring. Um, I'm probably going to just continue to stack haste a little bit because um, I like to be able to cast cyclones. Um, and for the trinket, it's also going to be haste as well. All right, so for the keybinds, um, I know everybody likes to have their own keybinds and uh, it's kind of difficult to change it, but if there's new players that want to copy this, that'd be fine too. So basically it's just one, two, three, four, five. And then from here, it's just in order from Q e r t s f z x c v middle mouse button and then the scroll wheel up and scroll wheel down and what i did was i had two here and then this is a single one split into two rows and this one is a single one split into two rows uh this is single and this is single one okay so for this it's going to be my mouse so on my mouse there's all these buttons and that's just basically what it is it's from the top all the way down and it's the exact same amount of buttons so here i have target myself and my party members and here it's going to be targeting the arena one two three and i'll get into the macros in a second uh so and then on this side it's just um roots uh wild charge and cyclone so i can shift and just press the top button here really easily to get clones off um if i need to jump kick i can just shift uh and press this button and then press it the, and then let go of shift and press the exact same button to skull bash so it's, it's really it's really nice to do that um let's see so this row is just kind of like random stuff i i like to press y for my any kind of buffs this is just like anything then my trinkets are here on my mouse right on top and I just put it on both. So if I'm pressing shift, I can still shrink it without like having to think about it too much. So here's shift scroll wheel up, control scroll wheel up and alt scroll wheel up. And then these are just the scroll wheel down versions of that. So shift scroll wheel up to heal, uh, control scroll wheel up to wild charge to a friendly player, uh, player uh, party one, and then this is party two. And um, this is just random stuff that I like to use. And then over here I have just random keybinds uh, for like my mount or shift W to mount and, and then alt W for the dragon flying. So yeah, that's that's basically my keybinds. And now I'll, I'll tell you about uh, all the macros. Uh, I'm just gonna start right here on Prowl. So I, I use like cancel these auras if I'm in combat and somebody buffs me and there's an enemy mage, I need to get rid of that. So I can just press R real quick to get rid of that. Uh, Kevin's oozling. We don't, don't need to worry about that. Thank God. Uh, so on this macro, what it's going to do is I can spam prowl and it won't take me out of stealth. So what I have to do is press alt and then R to <clears throat> come out of stealth if I need to, which is rare. So from here, I'm just going to go to my shadow meld macro. So this is my vanish macro. It's the same thing. Uh, 
We don't have to worry about Kevin's Zoozling anymore. This is just going to cast Meld and Prowl at the same time in one button. So with this macro, I can just spam R, uh, Shift R, and it will <clears throat> Shadow Meld Vanish for me. Uh, well, it's kind of like a Vanish. So I'm going to talk about these macros right here. So it's just Party 1 Regrowth and Party 2 Regrowth. Um, and then the next one's going to be my Wild Charge. So whatever form I'm in, I can uh, control sc scroll wheel up to go to my teammate. So I'll, I'll leave my form and fly to a teammate. A it's really, really, really nice, especially like if you get knocked off and your teammates on a corner of something, you can fly up to them really quickly. It's like instant. It's, it's great. Um, so it's just the two of these with the variant of this is party one and the other one's party two. Um, so the next ones are just going to be target player and then this is target party one and target party two right here just very simple stuff so next one's going to be just target arena one and the variants are going to be arena one then two and then three just right down down there so i can target it easily okay so these skull bash macros it's going to be the exact same thing except one two three and that's pretty straightforward you just skull bash on arena one two three uh and these are all the same thing so entangle ring roots one two three and wild charge one two three and then clone one two three all right so for the weak auras kind of have a lot here what even is this apex predators craving super important to have for me at least so when you get free bites and see this it's easier to see than like looking down at your bars all the time so that's that one i have a blood talons one so i can know like when it's up and when i can do some good damn and predatory swiftness for whenever you use your combo points and it gives you free roots or free heal and that's pretty much all i use and the way to make it easy is you just go new aura <clears throat> pre-made and then you go progress Texture or uh, for the blood talons, I use icon. So I'll go ahead and do the icon default uh, buffs blood talons. Uh, only show if it's buff. And then on the display, I, I use show glow. So for the glow, I just use custom color and I put that in a red color. <clears throat> and that's the, the weak aura. All right. So for the predatory swiftness one, I, I just did a new one and pre-made progression texture default buffs predatory swiftness show only if buffed and i changed it using this blizzard alerts <clears throat> and i just kind of did that and texture rotation it's going to be 90 degree oh, i'm sorry it's going to be 180 <clears throat> 